well, today I'm doing another tag video and it's the handbag for every occasion tag. Six different occasions and six different handbags. It's a good excuse for me to have a look through my handbag collection and get some bags out. The first one is casual and I think probably because this is my most recent one and my favourite, this is a great casual bag. So this is the Rebecca Minkoff Darren Messenger bag. So I always think of messenger bags as more casual anyway, especially cross-body style bags. This one is gorgeous. I love the pink colour. It looks great with jeans. It looks great with just like plain jeans and a tee to add a little bit of colour. It's a really nice bag and it's a great casual option. It's a good size. It doesn't hold too much, doesn't hold too little. Um, I've linked the video of what fits inside it above. So yeah, that's the Rebecca Minkoff Darren, a great casual bag. The next category is a handbag for work, and when I look at this bag, I think work bag. It is the Mulberry Heritage Bayswater in the oak colour. It is such a classic tote bag. I usually wear this to work on days where I have to go between offices for meetings. I need to carry something kind of formal and structured. It fits um, big notepads and documents, everything that you need for a meeting and it's a beautiful classic tote, which is exactly what you need when you work in an office like I do. The next bag is for travel, and I had a hard time deciding between two of my Louis Vuitton bags for this, my Speedy Bandolier and my Neverfull, but when it comes down to it, I've used the Neverfull more for travel, so my travel pick would be the Neverfull tote. My Neverfull has traveled a lot with me, even just for little travels, like traveling to the beach, perfect bag for that. If you're traveling on a road trip, perfect, because it's a big tour, it holds everything. And I have taken it on the plane quite a few times as well when I've had to fly to other states for work, because it holds absolutely everything you need. It looks fairly formal um, when you're at the other end having a meeting, but you can always just stuff it under your desk if you're worried it's a little bit too casual. It's a nice big hold all, which is exactly what you need for traveling. Obviously, if you have the Damier Bean one, it's a bit more hardy for travel because you're not worried about rain or water. And that's why I was going to pick my Speedy Bandolier because it's Damier Bean. But I think this Neverfull is the one that I've traveled with the most. Next category is evening bag, and I don't really go out in the evenings very often. But if I do get the rare chance to go out, my very first bag that pops to mind is this bag if I'm kid free. It is this beautiful Chanel flat bag, so it's the vintage Lady Di style bag, and it's gorgeous. It is the perfect evening bag for me because it holds a lot. Um, the long strap allows you to wear it hands-free, so if you're like uh, at a wedding reception or something and there's cocktails, you can wear this and you still have both hands free. It's a really, really nice bag. Fits a surprising amount in it. It is gorgeous and perfect for an evening event. The second last category is day to night bag and I have picked another Rebecca Minkoff bag for this. It is the Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mac bag. Similar to the Chanel bag before, it has the long strap which makes it really, really good for days out with kids as well as in an evening event where you need to be hands free. You also have the ability to remove the chain and so you could wear it as a clutch if you wanted like a clutch night out. Um, it is the perfect day to night bag. It is a little on the small side, it just holds the essentials but I have worn this out to dinners out and I wear it all the time with the boys, especially in this metallic colour. It's dressy enough to wear it at an evening event as well. And the final handbag category is a minimal handbag. So I struggled a bit with this because I wouldn't exactly call any of my bags minimal. While they're small, they're quite bold and bright, but I settled on this bag for minimal. It is the Balenciaga City. Minimal because it doesn't have a lot of in-your-face hardware. The studs are quite small in the regular hardware. It does have the tassels. Um, these ones have all split, so it looks a bit more tassely than it usually does. But it's a simple style of bag. It's just a big rectangle. It doesn't have a lot of logos or prints. Um, it is in a very bright color. But I think it's a good minimal bag because you can just throw it on and go. You don't have to worry about it clashing with anything. Um, it's a really nice super soft bag as well. I really like this one. I just I just wanted to include it in the video because I like it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing my answers for the bags for every occasion with some of the handbags from my collection. If you did enjoy this video, you can give it a big thumbs up. You can hit the red subscribe button for more handbag related videos. If you haven't done this tag already, consider yourself tagged. If you have done it, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to watch your video. And thank you very much for watching.